Hello Virgo and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Virgo. Virgo, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. We have self-worth and we have open up. So when love comes knocking, are you going to open up here, Virgo? I feel like this is you kind of standing your ground here, feeling like you've got that confidence back. You've, you've got that uh, self-respect, self-love, self-worth, all of this. So who is it that you're going to open up? Who's knocking? Who's that knocking on my door? Is that a Rod Stewart song? Let's see what's going on here, Virgo. This is for Virgo. Love, lust, or a loss for Virgo. Few cards for them, few cards for you, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. Ooh, someone new. That's who that is. You've been healing. Finding your balance again. Look at this. You got a big decision to make. Could be a little overwhelming for you. Huge decision here. So. Love is knocking on your door, Virgo. Do you let him in? Are you ready? Is it worth it? You're worth it. They feel as though you are worth it. They'll be very patient with you. But this is a huge decision for you because you've had to really take a long time to heal. So, Ten of Cups is on the table here. Commitment. This could really go somewhere and it starts off with a spark, with a flame. Right here. Ten of Cups. Beautiful, long-term, loving, commitment, family, all these beautiful things. So, I feel like this is more their side and this is you over here. You're really going to have to think about that one. So, we've got this fire energy here, Sagittarius energy here. And this person's very determined to get you to open the door let my love open the door for all these songs are coming <laughs> all these songs so they're very t determined to get what they want and they'll be very patient very healing energy for you as well very um balanced energy but they will be very patient why because they're very extraordinarily attracted to you and i feel like you present them with a bit of a challenge because you're standing in your power at the moment and they can't get enough. Ah, they can't get enough of the Virgo. So, there we go. So, here you are. You've been kind of in your Virgo cave. And now this big time spark and attraction is here. And you're like, okay, what do I do about this? Is it worth putting my, you know, 
Is it worth getting to know this person? Is it worth my peace of mind to explore this energy? All the healing that I've done. <laughs> is it worth it? Is it worth taking this risk? Um, it's overwhelming. But you're going to let go. Well, I'm kind of jumping the gun here. You're going to let go of all these fears and doubts in your mind. But it's a huge decision for you. It really is. Um, so here you are. Gemini energy. You could be dealing with another Virgo. You could be dealing with a, a Gemini. But do you follow your head or your heart here? The ball's in your court. It's very clear. You're going to go deep. You're really going to think about this. Um, but this could be something very spiritual and special for you. This person will be very patient because they are insanely attracted to you. But they know this could be the start of something really, really good here. Really, really good. So, outcome here. You're a little overwhelmed. You're a little overwhelmed. And these thoughts of yesterday kind of hinder you. You know, so these doubts, these fears, I feel like you're going to release them and you're going to make the decision that is absolutely the, the best one for you, but you're going to take your time in making that decision. But I feel like the odds are in this person's favor. Be dealing with a Libra or somebody with strong Libra in their chart. I feel like it's going to go the right way, but at the end of the day, Virgo, it's up to you. It's just such a huge thing. A huge decision for you to open up your door to love again. But I feel like I feel like this person's got a fighting chance, Virgo. I really, really do. So you think about it and you make the decision that is best for you. But they are very patient and very determined. So, there you go. Love, lust, or loss. Um, well, they're lusting pretty hard right now. So, we're going to say lust. And then you, it's, it's you to decide if it's going to go any further than just this spark. Just this flame. It's up to you. So, there you go. I'm going to call it lust for now. That is your love, lust, or loss reading Virgo. I hope you have enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Rumble. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. Take care and God bless.